Hey YouTube, welcome back to another weekly food prep with me. My family has eaten through all of the goodies that I have baked for them. And so it's time to start again and get ready for the week coming up. We're gonna try some things that we've already done. And then I'm also going to try some new things that I've been wanting to try to start implementing into my weekly food prep. I had a week where I had a shoulder injury and all I could think about was, Ugh, I wish I would have some type of dinner ready in the freezer to go on these days where I just can't get off the couch or just days where I am just so busy that I don't have time to get into the kitchen for an hour and start cooking. And so my goal this week is to start putting one meal in the freezer a week to have for those days that I'm either super busy or life happens and craziness happens. And so I'm gonna try to do a freezer meal. This is going to be a first. Also want to do some old things like bread. I make bread every single week. My family eats through it like crazy and so that's an essential in the house. And then we're gonna just switch it up as we go along. So grab a cup of coffee or grab a cup of tea and let's get cooking. of honey that we bought and I'm about to start some more recipes but some of the recipes I'm actually going to need honey and my honey jar is empty and so it's time to fill it. pudding. I know I made some chocolate on my Instagram not too long ago. I actually, we have a lot of fruit in the house and so I want to make something that we could eat with the fruit as kind of like a breakfast or a dessert or a snack, something that's just really versatile. I'm actually going to make it with some coconut milk. Just trying to switch it up and do different things. The coconut milk is going to give it a beautiful coconut flavor, which I'll really like with the fruit. The easiest way of making like a big batch, I'm actually gonna make it in the blender and so that we have no problems with chunks. So I'm gonna make six jars of chia seed pudding and so I'm gonna actually need three of these coconut milks. jars that I'm going to do. So I'm going to do two tablespoons per jar. So I'm going to do 12 tablespoons of chia seed pudding in here. I'm going to do a tablespoon of honey 
per jar, so six tablespoons of honey. doing that and so I don't know if that is six tablespoons or seven tablespoons either way it'll turn out delicious <laughs> and then last I'm just gonna put a little bit of salt in there just to enhance the sweetness of the chia pudding so I did four really small pinches So these are all jarred up and they're gonna go in the fridge overnight, so for 24 hours, and then I'll show you in the morning how I'll dress it up. I got some brown rice pasta because we're gluten-free, but you could just use regular pasta if that's what you and your family like. 